the count of three, everyone please say Melanie. One, two, three. Melanie! What happened to her was tragic. You know, the fire started on the seventh floor. She was on the 11th. Um, she, she grabbed the puppy, put her in the harness, in the cage. She had enough time to put Sammy's body harness. And she, was able, she had the courage to go through that pitch black smoke. She only made it down two floors before she um, was able to exit, and she, uh, that's where you know, the Lord came and collected her. But what really speaks to Melanie is the fact that when they found her, they found her hugging Sammy and Ella. She had removed her jacket and covered them so as to maximize their ability to live. And that's who Melanie was. She was a giver. She was a fighter. She was a lovely person. She take care about everybody, you know, in the planet. She cared about animals, the environmental, because uh, that's why she took the, uh, the opportunity to work for Aspen Institute to save the, the planet, you know? So, like I said, she always smile. She want to make people happy. You can see it in, in her pictures, how happy she was. And uh, I don't want, you know, anybody go to the bed before they, they, every time they wake up, please go to your family, say how much you love them, no matter how much you are. And before you go to a sleeping, please, please go to your family and say, I love you. How far were you from the fire? Uh, about two doors down. And um, were you um, there at the time or what happened? Yeah, we woke up um, to the alarms, but by then it was too late for us to leave. Um, so we decided to stay in our unit. We were trapped on our balcony for a good hour before firefighters got us. For some of us, there's really bad water damage. For some of us, there's a layer of soot over our belongings. Some residents have been told that they're fine to move back into their apartments even though they see mold, they see soot. And some of us have the exact same thing that's going on in our apartments and ours are condemned. Um, so we won't know really the true amount of damage until we're able to get in there and fully assess everything. But we've only been able to go in for a few minutes at a time. What we're doing right now is making sure that the residents who were displaced, working with them, um, to get them their immediate needs and obviously working with uh, the Diaz family um, as they mourn the loss of their daughter, Melanie, um, and anything that they need. Um, right now, our, the most important thing uh, we have to do is make sure that the uh, people who are impacted um, have a safe place to live. I will be honest, at the beginning, the um, apartment complex people were very cooperative. Unfortunately, in the last couple of days, we wish they were being uh, more cooperative with us. Um, and I, I will say, I, I do need to say that the uh, Doubletree Hotel here in downtown Silver Spring has been um, an excellent partner in helping the residents from day one of the fire.